Hello? Hello, Mr. Foster? Yeah. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I just needed to let you know that um, you've got a, a new mailman. He's going to be starting on Monday, and he's he's handicapped. Why, can I ask you a question? Okay. Why are you calling at 1230 at night to well, tell me something about a new mailman? Well, we tried to call earlier, and he didn't answer. So I don't, I don't give a damn. It's twelve thirty well, at night. Well, you asked for a reason. Why do you not give a damn? Why'd you ask for the reason if you don't give a damn? No, no, because who calls at twelve thirty at night? The homeowners association. This is Roy. I already told you that. What's your last name? Gerbel. I, I work for Bob. And you're calling at twelve thirty at night? Yeah, I need to let you know something about the mailman. What, that we got a new mailman starting next week? Well, no, it's it's more important than that. The mailman is actually disabled, and you're going to need to install a wheelchair ramp on your property to accommodate his disability. What? You know, for the Disabilities Act of 2004? No, 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 no. Who the hell? What are you talking about? A mailman? Yeah. I got to put... What are you talking about? I don't... He doesn't even come to my house. I know, but he's disabled. What if he has to come up and... I don't give a damn. What Who if, the hell are you? Listen, he he's a veteran, sir, so you should give a I damn. I could give a grass ass. But he, he fought for your country. He fought for your no, freedom. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 so yes. you're Roy who? Gerbel. Okay, hold on. I like to take down uh, how to spell your last name. So what? You don't you don't like the the no, troops? No, no, no. Hey, you don't hey, support go, the troops? Go screw yourself. Cactus. Are you blowing smoke up my ass, buddy? What's going on here? Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you! Cactus! Cactus this cocksucker. How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus! Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show for November 21st, 2016. Today's episode is sponsored by Nicholas W. Thank you, Nicholas, for being a supporter of the show. If the FBI happens to bust in in the middle of me recording today, that's going to be completely Nicholas's fault. That's what everyone gets for sponsoring my show. I get to blame them for everything. Nicholas is the official fall guy of today's episode. I've got a few updates for today's episode. Uh, the first one would be this clip that was sent to me by Katie Baker. And uh, this, this is a clip that references Crazy Talk. You know, the, the phrase crazy talk, which I apparently invented. But uh, Katie, she couldn't handle uh, me having that, so she's taking it away from me. So here's a clip from The Simpsons. I have no idea how old this one is, but it looks kind of old. This is from YouTube. If you want to see your future, throw a treasured personal item into the fire. Okay. Not a firecracker. Hey, I bought it from a guy on your reservation. That's crazy talk. No, it's true. No, I know. That's my brother, crazy talk. We're all a little worried about him. Now, yep. look into the There flame. it is. So thanks, Katie Baker. I thought after the last episode with that voicemail, I could just fool you all into thinking that I invented the word, the phrase, I mean, crazy talk. But no, it's from The Simpsons, apparently. That's where I stole it from. I also got an email from Ghost Rappy, McRapper Ghost. Regarding the whole FBI raid thing, if you don't remember from the last episode, I was raided by the FBI, and I will most likely be charged with some sort of computer hacker charge eventually when they finish combing through my hard drives. But Ghost Rappy, he says, I talked to God, and he told me no charges will be filed. He says that the FBI likes you and knows that you're a good guy. So thank you, Rappy. That's good news to hear. I was kind of worried up until this point, but Ghost Rappy says it's going to be fine. He has a, he's a close personal friend of God's, and, you know, he has a direct line and all that stuff. I don't really have any updates about the whole FBI thing. I've just been kind of uh, shopping around for an attorney all week. I think I found a good one, and I guess we'll find out for sure when I end up in prison or not. I am now off of the Windows Vista machine. I've uh, purchased a new computer off of Craigslist, because that's always a completely non-sketchy place to go for your computer equipment needs. And I've relocated the PLA Situation Room into the tunnels that I recently discovered under my apartment. So next time they come, they won't be able to find my, my new stuff. It's all going to be hidden in the tunnels. 
And I, I've soundproofed the new uh, PLA situation room here in the tunnels under my house. I've, I've soundproofed it. That's why you don't hear any echoes. I've been doing a lot of work down here, and oh my god, I mean, the the, the ceilings are so high that it took a, an enormous amount of egg crates, uh, or, uh, you know, egg things, eggshell things, soundproofing things, and pieces of foam. You know, I had to glue them all over the walls and the ceilings and stuff, and I had to relocate all the dripping water things, uh, you know, to other rooms and stuff. Had to put crazy tracks all over the walls. It, it almost looks like something from MC Escher, the way they're running. Okay, yeah, that's not even funny. What am I doing? You guys, I'm going to do pranks today. And I'm sorry about last week. I said last week I was going to try and do two shows and a hobo showed, and all I did was that one show with very little stuff in it. So this is going to be the week that I really get shit back on track here with the whole show thing. I'm glad you guys have been so patient. I've had a minimal of people, um, you know, just yelling at me on YouTube comments and in emails and stuff, telling me to hurry the fuck up and do a new show. But this is it. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to get more shows done this week. I'm sure of it. There's going to be two shows minimum. Just like there was last week. Oh, and one other thing before we get started. You guys have been amazing, uh, being, you know, just supportive about this whole thing ever since I announced it. And a lot of you have been uh, upping your Patreon donations, and uh, a couple people just donated through PayPal. Just kind of sent money to me to help support the show, help me buy new equipment, help me shop for a lawyer. And that's pretty amazing. I really appreciate everyone who's done that for me. And I've gotten a lot of emails from people just kind of telling me to hang in there and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, I'm still behind on my emails, like, now more than ever, because I've just been busy constantly since this whole thing began, trying to, to fix everything around the house that the computers not being there have broken, and looking for a decent attorney, and I don't know, it's been it's been a busy week or so now. Thank you, though, everyone who's been supportive on the Facebook and, and uh, you know, sending in money and just sending in nice comments and emails and stuff to me. It seriously feels really great to have all the support and everything, you guys, so I really appreciate it. A few people have suggested that I set up some sort of an Indiegogo to help me with my uh, lawyer expenses, and I'm sure if I did that, you guys would just be amazing about it and, and help me out as much as you can, but I don't really want to go that route because, as it is, you guys are all supporting me with Patreon and the website and just everything else. So if you want to help out, consider signing up on phonelosers.org slash cactus or patreon.com slash phonelosers. But I still feel like this whole thing, you know, even though it's related to the show, it's still my own stupid fault for logging into something that I shouldn't have. And it feels like my own dumb fault instead of anything else. So by supporting the show, you're supporting me and you're helping me with everything else that I'm having problems with here. And that's pretty great that you guys are doing that for me, even before the whole incident happened. You guys have just been amazing about supporting me and the show and everything else. Thanks, guys. I don't know what else to say really about the whole thing. So I'm just going to abruptly end with a commercial. Here's a commercial, you guys. This is one of our sponsors. It's your new official ice tea phone line. This is ice tea, and I'm just cooling out waiting on you to call me on the ice hotline. Here's your chance to connect to ice tea. Call 1-900-909-1100. Push that button. Dial it now. Come on. Call me up and chill out with me on the phone for a few minutes. $2 the first minute, 45 cents each extra minute. Be sure to ask your parents permission. It's Dev. The new ice tea phone line. Yo, make that call. Call 1-900-909-1100. Ice tea is waiting now. I have a list here from a guy named Eric. Eric, it's a really long list. I know I'm not going to do the entire thing today, but Eric says, Hey, longtime listener and fan of PLA. Here's my neighborhood's complete directory for you to use. It's a small private gated community called something something, mostly full of older retired residents who aren't exactly the nicest folk and also quite grouchy and grumpy who act like they're living in a fancy multi-million dollar neighborhood. Also, a lot of houses here have the Trump sign in their lawn, so do with that what you may. This was sent on November 2nd, by the way, so a little bit before the election happened. And he says, thanks a lot, Cactus Cactus. And hopefully it was okay for me to say your name and you don't get thrown out of your neighborhood or anything like that. I still can't spoof numbers yet. I haven't set that up, but I, um, I'm i going to be calling from the Carding voicemail line again, the Google Voice number, which is, I don't know, a few states away from this place. And I kind of feel like people aren't going to pick up for out-of-state area codes, but I guess I'm going to give it a try, because that's what I'm doing right now. Here we go. This first guy's name is Jim. Let's see if Jim is browned. Hello? Hey, Jim. This is uh, Dave from uh, the Homeowners Association. Yeah? And uh, I just needed to let you know, um, wh whoever you're using to, to get your, mo your lawn mowed, their mower is too loud. It's exactly 23... 
23 decibels What's too loud. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'll you're... fire the son of a bitch. Okay, just let him... No, you don't have to fire him. We're not trying to cause problems. I'm just saying it's 20, uh, Dave, tw- 23 Dave. decibels too loud. Dave. What? Are you being... Are you being... Who, what's your last name, Dave? Wilson. And what are you on, the PCC? No, I'm on a laptop. You're what? I'm on a no, laptop. No. Are you Are you a member of the PCC? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, with I'm just letting you know about the uh, the noise problem. We've been getting complaints. There Dave, there is no noise problem. Well, yeah. And I do not have anyone hired to cut my lawn. I cut my own lawn. Okay, so it's you that owns the hobo lawnmower that's too loud. So get a new lawnmower. I don't... Dave, and what? I don't own a hobo lawnmower. You have me confused with someone else. Well, we put sensors in your yard, and it told us that you, there was 23 decibels Dave, too many. Dave, when you What? Dave, if you're a practical joker, no. it's not very funny. Not to if you. you're a member of the PCC, you better come over and talk to me. Don't call me up. Well, I don't want to come over because that's too inconvenient. That's why we have phones. Well, I'll tell you what, Dave. You can go screw yourself. Uh, hey, hey, Don't do you want to get kicked out of this neighborhood? Dave, you don't have the authority to kick me oh, out Oh, yes, we do. I'm with the Homeowners Association. Oh, no, you don't. We'll, 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 the uh, only thing you can... Dave... The only thing yes. you can do is refer me to the adjudicatory panel. Or do you know who's on the adjudicatory panel? We could just start levying random fines at you until you're forced out of the neighborhood. Because we don't have to put up with loud Dave. lawnmowers. It's 2016. Dave. Get an electric, idiot. <laughs> you must be joking, right? No, you're the one that's joking. I'm, I'm trying to make a serious call and you keep laughing at me. And making Dave, threats and stuff. you're an idiot. Well, Dave, I, at least I idiot. at least I own a nice lawnmower. Dave, there is no requirement for noise levels on oh, lawnmowers. Oh yes, there is. You, Harbor. you look at your rule Dave, book. You'll find out. I, I, Dave, I study the rule book all the time because I am on the adjudicatory. Panel. Oh, you're so full I'm of crap. The person, I am the person who hears these cases that you idiots refer. Well, if that was true, you would have a nicer lawnmower. That wasn't loud. That may, that may be true. That may be true. Yeah, it's completely but true. But anyway, what day, what day did you put these sensors in my yard? Uh, we don't have to tell you. It's a part of the investigation. Oh, okay. I, Dave, i tell you what. Just letting you know, we you checked. You and whoever else is on your committee can go straight to hell. I thought you were on the committee. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, no, I'm we'll on do the that. adjudicatory panel. Yeah, well, I'm that, on the adjudicatory well, panel. Well, that's the, that's the, the low Not rent. The t- panel that's the hobo community panel well i'm with good, I'm, good day i'm, I'm with the homeowners i am too day oh, you, you just don't know the, uh, you don't know you don't know what you're talking the, about dave let me interrupt you for a second who's the current property manager oh i don't have to tell you anything because you're just making up names and, and just telling stories and stuff <laughs> Okay, Dave, it's good to talk to you. You too, Bye-bye. Jim. Have a nice night. Get a new lawnmower. Okay, he's gone. Doot doot. Well, so far, so good with this list. I wasn't even calling from the right area code, and you know, I don't know. That, that was amusing, I guess. All right, you guys. Uh, it's been, I don't know, 30 minutes since I made that call through the magic of pre recorded internet radio. I have done some things in those 30 minutes. Uh, mainly, I've gotten my, um, my, my, what do you call it? The blink client set up again. Basically the doot machine. Here, look at this. I'm going to dial a number, just a random number. I'm not even going to let it connect. And now I'm going to disconnect it. Look at that. We got the doot back. I don't have to do the doot anymore. It's a Christmas miracle. So as I said before, I do not have my asterisk machine set up yet in my house. It's been taken by the FBI, but I still have my accounts with uh, FlowRoute and a couple other SIP providers. You know, those are the things that connect to my asterisk box that allow me to receive and make phone calls. But apparently I can just uh, hook that directly up to a SIP client on my computer here. And I'm using a SIP client named Blink. It's a piece of crap, but it's what I always have used for some reason. So what I'm getting at here is that I can now make phone calls. I cannot spoof yet, I don't think. 
I'm going to have to go to the flow route website and see if I can spoof from the website, you know, if I can set it up that way. And the main reason I just did this is because I've been dialing out from the carding voicemail line. And that works great until someone calls me on the carding voicemail line, either a listener or somebody I've just talked to. You know, they get my phone number so they can just hang up and call me right back now. And that's kind of a pain in the ass because I can't figure out how to turn off the ringer on Google Voice. It just keeps making that noise until I hang up and it interrupts my calls. And I'm sure you guys don't care about any of this stuff, but I've got Blink working again. I cannot spoof numbers, but here's the cool thing. The number that shows up on a caller ID, I just called my own cell phone. And the number that shows up on the caller ID is my account number with FlowRoute. It's a eight digit phone number. It starts with a five. Um, it doesn't really look like anything. Like I imagine on a caller ID box that shows you the city and state that's calling you, it's just not gonna know, it's gonna be blank. It's gonna be confused because it's not a real phone number. So this could work out well until I get things uh, fully set up here again. So let's see how this goes. And I guess if you hear someone uh, you know, being weirded out about the phone number that I'm calling from, then that's why it's a weird eight digit phone number that doesn't make any sense. So next on the list is Barbara. I tried Barbara earlier and while I was calling her I got interrupted by a phone call coming in on the PLA voicemail thing. Hey, you got the Albanese's answer machine. And spring is finally sprung. So are the Albanese's. We're out getting our uh, tight bodies bronze with the sun. We're out boating. Uh, we're out looking nice. at all the beautiful flowers. You know, sometimes you should stop and smell the flowers. And we're doing a lot of that. And, uh, you know, you get the birds and the bees. Eh, that's making me horny. Anyway, Holy shit. Uh, just leave a message. Fuck. And uh, we'll get back to you. Only if we like you. Have a good day. Memory full. <laughs> I bet it is. What the hell was that? I really kind of wanted to leave him a message. Nobody's picking up anymore. They're afraid of my wacky eight-digit phone number. It confuses them. That must be the problem, right? Hello, and thank you for calling. I'm unable... All right, next. Isn't it amazing to have the doot back? That's the real reason I did all this. I just, I missed my doot. I think that's probably really the only reason you guys listen to my show is for the doot. And that's been missing uh, for the past week. The past week of one show. So this is a good thing. We got the dedute back, you guys. You have reached Chris and Paul. Hello. Hello, Frank. Yeah. Hey, Frank. Uh, this is Roy from the the PPCC PPC, the the homeowners association thing. You know. Yeah. And um, I, we just needed to let you know that your lawnmower is just a little bit too loud, and you're gonna have to. What? Uh, what I, I I don't know who you're calling, but I'm calling you. I am f- not you, Frank. I live in, I live in. I know that's what I'm saying. Uh, with the I'm with the homeowners, the community thing, you know. And my lawnmower, my my lawnmower's too loud. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it's a few decibels too loud. Just just not very much. Not, I don't I don't I don't have a lawnmower. I have my one cut by a service. Right. Okay. Well, you need to talk to the service and tell them not to have such loud lawnmowers because people are complaining. Who Who are you? I don't even. Who are you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm from I'm just letting you know that your lawnmower is a little bit too loud. And um, besides bothering the neighbors and, and making it too noisy... Oh, what, 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 I, I, who are you? I'm, what's your name? My name is Roy, for the third time. Roy what? No, who? Roy who? Correct, yes. And I'm, I'm just letting you know about the lawnmower problem. Just just talk to your lawn people. I don't know. And, you know what, Roy? I, this is ridiculous. It's n- I, what? You know... Lots of lawn services. I don't need to talk to you about this. Goodbye. Well, no, no. I you you have to. You have to talk to me about it. It's required by the the homeowners' rules, the rule book. Hello, Frank. It didn't go to dude, you guys. There's no to dude. It shows we're still connected. I think maybe he was on the other line. Maybe that's why he had to go so quick. I think he just clicked over. So if I sit here and wait long enough, he'll probably come back eventually. But nope, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to hang up and I'm going to call this other number that's here for his, um, you know, for his listing. But this one is for his wife, Gail. Let's see if Gail picks up. And I was trying to say the the PPCC, whatever that other guy said. He's trying to tell me it's uh, I, I shouldn't be from... I should be from the the PPC or whatever. When he said that earlier, I thought he was trying to accuse me of being on drugs or something. I was very offended by that. Hi, 
Hi, this is Gail. I can't get to the phone right now, but please leave a message. Darn it, Gail. I guess she's just not there. Oh, well, let's move on to the next one on the list. Hello? Hello, uh, G- Ar- Ar- Armagard? Yes, speaking. Hey, uh, this is Roy from the <laughs> homeowners. Yes. And I just need to let you know that your lawnmower is way too loud. It- it's over 50... We don't 50- have a lawn... We don't have a lawnmower. Right, but whatever service you use, they their lawnmowers are way too loud, and you have to tell them to get better lawnmowers because we don't allow allow that kind of noise in this neighborhood. You're kidding. No, no, they need to get electric lawnmowers or something, you know, or get those little Roombas. What, oh, what? Well, let me talk. Let you, I want you to listen to uh, talk to my husband. Hold on. Well, how how come I can't just talk to you? Hello. Hello, Frank. This is Don. Oh yeah, that's what I—that's that's what I said, Don, and and and, and Ermagard. Yeah, who who are you calling? Oh, I'm I'm calling Don and and Erm I just needed to let you know that that lawnmower that your lawn service uses—it's way too loud. And who who is this calling? I, I'm calling from the homeowners association. And your name? My name is Roy. Roy what? No, Roy who? I'm afraid I don't understand what your what your gripe is. Oh no, it's we not a, a it's, lawnmower. It's, it's not a gripe. I know. I, I, I know you don't own a lawnmower. I'm just calling to let you know that um, whoever mows your lawn, you need to tell them to turn down the volume on it. Just I don't know how you turn down the volume on a on a <laughs> gas gas uh, powered mower. Well, no, it's a, it's um, all modern lawn lawnmowers have volume knobs. You probably don't know because you just use services well, now. Uh, look, but, if you have a problem, send me a letter, and I will see if I can respond. Well, I don't want to send a letter because that's that costs money. That's like forty eight cents. Well, I don't know who you are or what your problem. I, is. I already told I'll, you. I'll, I'm, I'll I'm, talk to you some. But, what did you say I, your last name was? I uh, who, H O O. H O O. Yeah, you know who I am. You said my last name to me. You said this is Roy Who. So you know who I am. I don't know why you're pretending you don't. I have no idea who you are, and I have no idea why you're calling. Uh, there I, are ten thousand low mowers out here, and I don't have one. And whoever cuts my lawn is no louder than anybody else. So well, you can. Well, you're going to be the one that gets the fine. Goodbye. It's gonna, it's your yard. You're going to get the fine for being too loud. I guess I should move on to a better idea. The whole lawnmower thing. I don't, I don't know. The first response was pretty good, sort of. That first guy, who, by the way, called me back because my phone number was on his caller ID. And that lady's name is Ermgard. It kind of looks like the Ermagerd girl with the goosebumps. <laughs> I kind of wanted to bring that up, but she just, you know, just got off the phone, put me on with her husband. Hello? Hi, Abigail. This is her. Hey, it's uh, Roy. I, I live, uh, you know, down the street or around the corner. I'm over on Pelican Drive. I'm your neighbor. Okay. And I was wondering if uh, perhaps uh, you you uh, guys might have found my wallet in your backyard. I lost it there last night. Why were you in our backyard? I, I was running. I was running away from someone. They were chasing me. Hon, you can talk to my husband. Why? Why can't I just talk to you? What the Hello? heck? It's night. Hey, Joshua, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on over on Pelican. Uh-huh. And uh, I was just wondering if you guys might have found my wallet. I think I left, lost it in your backyard last night. How? Uh, you lost it in my backyard? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was running through your backyard. I was being chased by someone. And, uh... Huh? I, I was being chased by someone, and, uh kind of had a scuffle right in the middle of your yard and uh, I think that must have been where I lost my wallet. Is this a joke? No, no, it's a very serious thing. All of my stuff's in there. All my credit cards, debit card, I, I'm like it sucks. I'm going to have to cancel everything and get a new driver's license. Right. So, um so I, I was just wondering if you maybe you guys had seen it. No, I mean, like, were you close to my house? Um, what? Not close to. I don't remember really. I was running really fast because this guy was that was chasing me. He was, 
who's really, you know, he's a fast runner. Well, what's your address? Uh, I'm over on Pelican Drive. 907 Pelican Drive. 907. And how did you get my number? Uh, I looked in the directory. Oh. It's a little weird, man. That yeah. You called I... me and you're running. I mean, I don't, for one, I don't appreciate y'all running through my yard. But no, I didn't find a wallet. Yeah. Well, it wasn't on purpose, you know, like, uh, it's, it's just where, uh, where the chase took us. And we ended up right in the middle of your yard and had a scuffle and... Um, I was I managed to get away, but I, I, have you been in your backyard? Do you think my wallet's out there? Uh, no. No to which part? No, that I know. I haven't seen your wallet, man. Okay. And well, what's your phone number? So in case I find it. Oh, it's on I your caller your ID. Call. Can't you just look on your caller ID and just call that number? That's me. My name's Roy. Your name's Roy. What's your phone number? Uh, it's it's on your caller ID. Just look at it. It's the call, caller ID. The, the area What's code. What's your phone number? It, it's uh it's uh nine two three four five. Huh? But look, just like so, you don't have you checked your backyard, or, or um, are you going to? Or, well, this ain't a legit fucking phone call, man. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Why do you say that? So if you call this number again, it's not gonna be a good day, brother. What do you? T- I'm just calling to get my wallet back. Did you steal my wallet? Are you a bunch of thieves? Right. Like, did you just find it and you I'm thought like maybe you? Okay, and if you come through my yard again, it's not gonna be a good day for you. Well, I mean, I was getting chased. It wasn't my fault. Some guy was chasing me. I don't give a fuck who was chasing you. Don't come through my yard again. Well, I, I didn't tell you who was chasing me. I'm just saying I was getting chased. It's not my fault. I just That was the only way to, for me to run. This is fucking ridiculous. Why? Right. It's ridiculous that I lost my wallet? I'm, I'm sorry that my loss inconveniences you. I don't see why you're being so rude. I mean, come on. We're neighbors. There's no reason to be a jerk. Hello? Oh, weird. I don't know. It didn't disconnect. I had to hang it up myself. So maybe that previous guy, maybe he didn't flip over. Maybe uh just doesn't disconnect as well or something when I have it hooked up this way. I don't know. Holy crap, though. That guy was rude. I mean, come on. What if I was a legit person? You know, what if I really was his neighbor and I really was being chased through his backyard and I really did lose my wallet? Then I would just be screwed because this guy is a jerk and won't talk to me about it. There's no reason for him to be like that to me. Hello. Hey, Barbara? Yes. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm a neighbor of yours. I live over on Pelican Drive. Oh, okay. And uh, I was just wondering, um, I was wondering, uh, like, I, we've been having this problem with microwave beams uh, going through our house. And, um, oh, really? It turns out we, we tracked the source, and it's your microwave in your kitchen. I was wondering if you could turn it about 23 degrees to the to the west. Sure. So it'll we'll do that. Yeah, because that way it'll point at a, uh, you know, my, Michael and Sharon's house. Uh, I and think you got the wrong people. What? Isn't this Barbara? Yes, it is. Oh no, it's definitely you. I, I got some high tech equipment, and I, it's a RF tracker, and it it, it checks, uh, you know, what kind of beams are showing up at your house. Yeah. I just, if you could well, just move your microwave the other way. Uh, it can't. Why not? It's built in the house, and we're not about to move our house 20 degrees. Right, but you could do it, you just get a smaller microwave up in that space and then just turn it, like, 23 degrees west. Uh, uh, that's, all, that's all I'm asking. Well, we, don't, we have to use the microwave for you to have microwave beams. And we're not using the microwave. I, th- I think it's like uh, stray microwave beams. It, it happens just because it's plugged in. You know, just because you're not using the microwave doesn't mean it's not uh, taking power. You know, it's got to have power to run that clock on it. You know, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Oh, you, you just I listen to you in the background. I don't know who you're. Oh, from you're you're a creep. You're... you're a creep, Jerry. Oh, holy crap! I, 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 I was, what the hell? You just listen to her phone calls, you weirdo. You're calling me a creep. You are a creep. I wish I had your number and I could report you. It, it's on your caller ID. I'm your neighbor. I was just asking for a simple neighborly thing. I don't see why you're being a jerk. Are my neighbor? Yeah, I live over on Pelican. You 
you do, then why are you calling me a creep? Because because you're being a creep. I was talking to Barbara, and you just pop up on the line and and say tell me you've been listening the whole time. You, well, oh, oh my you're god, over, creep! You live on Pelican. Yeah, yeah. I just this doesn't need to turn into a big deal. I just wanted you to move the microwave just just a few degrees to the west. You what now? I, I just needed you to move your microwave. Just turn it a few degrees to the west. 23 degrees should do it. Oh, we can't turn our microwave. That, I, I already explained all this to Barbara. I thought you were listening like a creep. You know, I want to know what your name is. Apparently you weren't listening very well. Well, does she know? I don't. I don't believe you live in I'm going to I'm going to track this call, and I'm going to report you to it if you do why Goodbye. i didn't do anything wrong it's just a request I'm just asking you to be neighborly that's all I, oh okay he's gone i guess they're a family that just doesn't believe in science or something i thought i laid it all out pretty clearly for him but they just didn't get it hello hello is marianne there speaking oh hey marianne it's uh roy i'm your i'm your neighbor i live over on pelican drive and uh, I was just wondering, uh, do you think you can turn your TV down at night? I, I can hear it all the way over here. It's really distracting when I'm trying to sleep. What time of night are you talking about? Um, well, just around 8 o'clock. I, I go to sleep really early because I have to get up at 4. Who is this? Who are you? Hey, hey uh, explain to your husband it doesn't work that way. You can't just shout across the room. You have to be on the phone. I'm on the phone. Oh, hey, Alex, Sander. Um, yeah, I was just wondering if you guys could turn your TV down, just just at night. I just... don't know. Where do you? What, why, where do you live? I'm, I'm over on Pelican Drive. Well, I'm on Caracara, so it's not me. Well, no, it's definitely you. I can tell it's no. it's it's coming from your house, and I, I'm just trying to no, sleep. No. You know, I, I have a job where I have no, to get I'm up. Sorry. Or... Goodbye. Well, just can't can't you? <laughs> Jesus, people are so unneighborly around here starting to feel bad for the guy that sent these to me because oh my gosh your neighbors are all jerks can't go along with a simple request to try and make my life easier here let's try these next people maybe it's their tv maybe i was mistaken hello hello kenny yeah hey kenny it's roy i'm your neighbor i live over on pelican yes sir and yes, um sir. How i was you doing? Just pretty good i was just wondering if you could turn your tv down at night i can hear it all the way over here it's really uh, annoying when i'm trying to sleep <laughs> uh, you're on pelican yes yes sir. i live on cool reef yeah i know i know and i can hear your tv all the way over here i mean you must be deaf or something i was just hoping maybe you could turn it down just a bit just a few notches <laughs> are you kidding me no no not at all i i work i, I have to get up early in the morning so I'm usually going to bed around like 7 or 8 at night. <laughs> yeah. So if you could just turn down the TV maybe around that time, that would be that'd be really nice of you. <laughs> I don't even listen to the TV at night, man. Well, I don't know how you can't if it's up that loud. But you live on Pelican, and well, I live on Cool Reef. Right, yeah. Just tur I turn it down. I mean, it's way too loud if I can hear it all the way over here. <laughs> You're crazy, man. That's on the other side of the harbor. I live on one side. You live on the other side. I know. So turn your damn TV down. That's all I'm asking. It's just a simple request. My TV's not up. But, I mean, if it's a problem you want to meet me or something, I mean, you know, we can deal with it. Well, that sounds like a threat. And I'm, I'm not trying to go that <laughs> direction. I'm just saying, you know, just turn it down a little bit. Just be nice and turn it down. I, I, <laughs> I don't listen to my TV at night, man. I'm okay, sleeping. well, tell your wife to turn it down. It must be your wife. Yeah, my wife don't listen either. Well, maybe you just don't know her that well. Maybe she listens all the time. You, you just don't pay attention. Maybe try oh, try being a better husband. Yeah, wh wh where do you live at? Over on Pelican. Yeah, I Pelican. already told you. Yeah, what's your address, I'm saying? Uh, 907 Pelican. 907. What's your name? Uh, my name is Roy. Roy as in last name? No, just just the first name. That's all. I, I had my last name uh, expunged from my birth certificate. Because oh, okay. Roy is Roy. good enough. I got you. Yep. Okay, and, and you know my name as, what's my name? Um. Why don't you know your own name? I already said your name. <laughs> I can't remember what you said. Oh, okay. Well, you responded to it, so it must have been the right one. Huh. Well, anyway, Roy, um, 
see. That's a weird number. So he must be doing some kind of like reverse call. This must be a prank or something. A, a prank? What are you talking about? A prank? People don't make pranks in 2016. Come on. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. What, what, um, what are you saying yeah, about yeah. my number? My number is weird or something. What are you talking about? Yeah. It's probably yeah. just. Well, your... anyway. Huh? Well, anyway, Roy. Um, you may got the wrong neighbor. I live on the other side of the harbor, so you know sound don't even carry that far at night. Oh yes, it house, does. So. But, uh, yes, it can. It, like TV signals, they go through space and stuff, like across galaxies. Didn't you ever see the movie Contact? Very interesting. I'm pretty sure it can go across a few streets if it can do all that. Okay, well, you have a good day, man. I, I hope you work it out. Thank oh, you. Well, I apparently won't because you won't help. Hello? Hello, Helen? Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Pelican. Okay, hold on. And, Hon? No, no I, telephone. It's not for it's not for him, it's for you. Oh, okay, Roy, what is it? Jeez, okay. Oh, I was just wondering if uh maybe you guys had found my wedding ring. I think I lost it in your backyard last night. Your wedding ring in our backyard? Yeah, I think I lost it in your backyard last night. I was just wondering if maybe you guys had happened to cross it. What were you doing in our backyard? Oh, I was just laying out there, you know, just enjoying the night air and looking at the stars. Hold on a second. Let's put... Hon, you better get it. Why him? Why can't you get it? Because he knows more about it than I do. About the backyard? Hello? Hello, Fred? Yes. Hey, uh, I was just uh, asking Helen if you guys maybe found my wedding ring. This is Roy. I live over on... On uh, Pelican, I'm your neighbor? No. Okay, I I think I lost it in your backyard last night. I I was hoping maybe you guys may have found it. Are you calling the right person? Yeah, Fred and Helen. Yeah? And you're Roy who? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm your neighbor. I'm I'm over on Pelican. I live on uh, Caracara. Yeah, yeah, I was just out for a walk last night and... uh, I, I went in your backyard, and I just kind of laid out and uh, watched the stars for a while. I didn't even look. Oh, you haven't been back there I, I wasn't today? in the backyard. You're welcome to come look tomorrow. We're doing a daylight if you want. Oh, maybe I'll come back tonight at 3 in the morning. I, I just I, I thought maybe uh, may, maybe you guys might have spotted it. No, I didn't, I didn't go out in the back at all. Yeah, it's a really big wedding ring with lots of diamonds on it. Oh, geez, maybe I'll go look. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, don't take it. It's worth a lot of money. I don't want to lose it. Well, well you we, come on out. If you want, come and look at it. Yeah. I'll put the outside light on for you. Okay. It might help you a little bit. Okay, yeah, could you leave that on all night in case I happen by? Uh, just, just, rather not. You can call me. I'm up to usually about 1 o'clock. Oh, it'll, I'll probably be there like 3 in the morning or 4 in the morning or something. I, I just oh, okay. I, I just like to just kind of hang out in people's backyards and look at the stars, you know? Well, what are you doing now? Why don't you come over soon? What, are you working or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm at work right now, but I'll, I'll be home later. All right, let me know. Give me a call. What's your last name? Okay, well, you're not going to find it and just keep it, are you? Cause, Pardon me? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go look oh, for it. What's your last name? Uh, my name is who? H O O, Roy Who. Okay. All right, you live on Pelican. Yep, that's the one. Okay. All right. Good enough. I'll put it on when I go to bed. You you put on my ring. Yeah, I got your ring. I'll put the light on for you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. I thought you were being a wise no, guy. A, no, I'm not a wise guy. It sounds like you're being a wise guy, threatening to steal my ring, and then saying you're going to wear it to bed tonight. Just, a, just Jeez. an odd call, that's all I'm saying. Jeez. What, now Now I'm odd? can't believe you're calling your neighbor I, odd. Well, no, I'm getting an odd call. I never got anything like this. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, it's, it's not that odd, really. I, I just, I don't know, I just lost my ring in your backyard, that's all. Okay. I'd known you'd been out there. I would have come out and talked to you or something. 
We talked All to right, me. I'll leave the light on for you. Oh, well, no, I don't want you coming out and talking to me while I'm hanging out in your backyard. I, I just prefer to be alone. Thank you. Well, okay. You know, just alone with my thoughts and looking at the stars, enjoying the, enjoying the night air and everything. I got trees on the back. I'm surprised you're able to see the, uh, well, I could, the, the, the stars. Well, you know, it's... it's, a, whole it's big, all, all, a whole big lot next to me. All the leaves are falling. Well, yeah, but the lot's ugly. I don't want to hang out there. Well, these don't have leaves. These got pine cones. Well, that's pine, what, pine needles. Yeah, you know, the, all the pine needles are falling off for the winter. So I can see through them a little bit and see the stars. Okay. On a clear night, I can see the, the ISIS. Good enough. Uh, I the, can do that. The, the space station, I mean, not the terrorist group. Yeah. All right. Good enough. Hey, hey, don't don't hit touch tones at me. That hurt. That hurt my what? ear. N- nothing. Never mind. Okay. Do Do you think Helen found right. it? Do you think Helen found it and maybe she's just uh just keeping it for herself? She's got one leg and she don't go in the backyard. You don't let her in the backyard. She's got one leg. Well, she can still go in the backyard. It's okay. She gets stuck out there. We had some trees removed, and there's it's all humps back there. Oh. So let's cut the cut the crap. I'll leave the light on for you, and you can come and look as you please. Okay, well, th- thank you. I just you. hope nobody shoots you, that's all. Well, who would shoot me? Oh, my God, now you're going to shoot me? Not me. I know you're coming. Oh, well, who would shoot me? There's no, there's no, there's Nobody's going to shoot me. That's crazy talk. Well, this this whole conversation sounds crazy. So if you want, I'll leave the light on for you. If you don't want me to leave the light on, you can come by tomorrow when it's light. Oh, if you could, please, okay? just leave it on all night. Don't turn it off until 6 a.m., please. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye, Fred. Give Helen kisses for me. Oh, yeah, it's I, it's the ISS, not the ISIS, the space station. Holy crap, I suck. I can't even get acronyms right. There's going to have to be a new uh, wiki page. One titled acronyms that RBCP doesn't understand or know how to use or something. I don't know. Don't know. Don't do that, please. I don't need that. I feel bad enough with the words I can't pronounce. Forget I even mentioned it. Hello. Hello, Kate. Yes. Hey, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Pelican. Yes. And um, I I was just wondering um. Like, uh, I don't know, I was looking through your trash the other day, on trash day, and you've got a lot of cardboard in there. It seems like you could put that all in the recycle. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, just just seems like the right thing to do, you, you know, you know to, to recycle properly. And it's it's hard not to notice whenever I use your trash can that you've got all that cardboard in there. What are you talking about? I, just, you what know... Would you- why would you use my trash can? Well, because I don't want to use mine. Sometimes it's full, and um, I, I just I usually bring all my trash over to your house. Ma'am, hello? Oh, we lost Kate. All right. Let's just move on to the next one. Hello? Hello, James? Yes. Oh, hey, it's uh, Roy. I'm your neighbor. I, I live over on Pelican. Okay. And um I, I was just uh I, I was just wondering it seems like every time I use your trash can outside on trash day, it, it just seems like you have a lot of uh stuff in there that could be recycled. Like like plastics and boxes from uh, uh, you know, cardboard and stuff. You you must completely have the wrong number because I don't even put my trash can out there. Oh, well, what do you do with your trash then? Well that's my business. Well no, no Why I, are why it, Why are you calling me and asking me this? Well, it looks like it's in front of your house. Maybe it's your neighbor's. I always thought it was yours. I, I've just always, you know, brought my trash over to that one. Well, I think you brought your trash over to someone else's trash? Yeah, well, because I don't want to pay for a trash can and, and all that stuff, you know, so I just bring it oh, over. Oh, so you just let somebody else pay for your trash? Well, no, th- no, they're paying for it anyway for their own trash, and they don't use it as much. I guess it's your next-door neighbor, right. though. So, so you're just... Instead of paying for your own trash, you're allowing them to pay for your trash to be hauled away. Yeah, well, they don't use up all the space, so... Uh, That's not the point. That's not the point. It kind of is. They're paying... They're, no, it's not the point. They're paying for that. Well, what do you care? It's that, not It's that, not even yours. And I want to know where you put your trash if you don't have a trash can. 
You just flush it all down the toilet or something? Yeah, I flush it down the toilet. You're an asshole, you know that? Why would you, you say that? You really why, are. Why would you say that? You're the you one really are. What? Because you're using someone else's trash. It's not even They're yours. They're paying for that. And you're the one that... They're, I, and you know what? You know what? They're my neighbor. I like them. So I'm going to tell them to watch because you're what? putting your trash in their trash can that they're paying I like my to neighbors have somebody too. take away. You're the one that Thanks. like flushes your shit, your, your trash down the toilet, and, and that's, yeah. that's stealing from the yeah. water company. Now, excuse me, sir. What? You need to mind your own business. Well, well you mind your own business. You're the one your tr- sticking your nose I in my trash. I didn't you. But you, you say you're going to tattle I on me. Not- you said you're going to tattletale on me to your neighbor. Uh-oh, I guess he, he hung up. Yep, there he goes. He's gone. I can't believe the one guy that got pissed about that was the one that it's not even his trash. What does he care? I mean, geez, I, I was trying to do a nice thing. I was trying to get him to recycle better. And he just has to freak out at me and just not even care about the earth. And, and what the hell does he even do with his trash if he doesn't have a if he doesn't put a trash can out? And forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Pretty sure he's doing something sketchy too. It's probably him using his neighbor's trash can all the time, since he can't even afford his own. Hello? Hello, Sam? Yes. Hey, Sam, it's uh, Roy, This uh, your neighbor over on Pelican. Yes. And uh, I, I just noticed uh, whenever I use your trash can on trash day, uh, just it seems like you have a lot of materials in there that are you could be in the recycle bin instead. Well, I, w- like when I when I use your trash can to throw away all my trash, I, I've just noticed that you have a lot of plastics in there and stuff. That's not me. Are Are you sure? Because I don't know. It seems like every time I throw my trash bags into your trash can, I, I see Why things. Why would you throw my tra- your trash bags in my trash can? Uh, Wait, you talking about the condo over there? Uh, Pelican? I don't. I don't live on Pelican. No, I live on Pelican. Oh. Yeah, no, I just I come over and put my trash in your trash can because I don't I don't want to pay for it. Not my, not mine. What do you mean not yours? What what trash can are you talking about? Oh, the one that goes tra- it, go, it goes out on trash day. I don't have. Oh, maybe, maybe I got well, the wrong person. In- what? Yeah, I think you do. What, what? Yeah, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> well, what do you do with your trash? Oh, I put it out, but it's full. You don't put it in mine. I don't put it out until. Oh. Well, no, I smash it down. You live over on Bluebird, right? Yeah. I just smash your trash down with my foot and throw my own stuff in. But, I don't believe that. Well, no, what I'm saying is that you just have too much stuff in there that could be recycled, but you don't recycle. And that's, well, that's ba- I beg your pardon. I do recycle, so I think you're messing with something you don't need to. Well, no, I, I, but you could recycle better is what I'm saying because you, you have a lot of paper-based... Well, that's my choice, you know? Okay, so you just well, buzz off, okay? Well, hey, don't don't use that word with me, sir. Oh, my God, he just he told me to buzz off. That, that was so incredibly rude. I've never been spoken to that way in my entire life, you guys. I, I, I think I'm about ready to quit. You know, I, I, I hate to admit it, but I, I think at this point, the, the Roy Sipians, they've won. They beat me today. It wasn't so bad until someone told me to buzz off. Now I'm just all, I'm all bummed out and stuff. This lady's not even answering. Welcome to the voicemail of... Okay, let's, um, I just have two left on this page. They're probably not even going to pick up. But I was starting to think that they don't do trash cans in this neighborhood. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Cheryl? Yes! Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Pelican. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I thought this was what it said out of town. Oh, that's so weird. I thought, oh, it's, we can't oh. have more uh, 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 politicals, can we? <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope not. I've been getting so many political yeah. calls lately; it's been crazy. Yes. Well, anyway, so what's up? Well, I just wanted to let you know, like, um, you know, I I always throw my trash in your trash can, and I've been noticing that uh, you're not recycling that well, as well as you could, anyway. No, I I moved from my. Wait a minute, you must have the wrong person. Well, you're on Jewel. I, I used to I used to live on Jewel Court. 
I no longer live there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I must be using someone else's trash can then. I've been using your trash can for like a, a decade now. I just throw all my stuff in it, but I guess you moved. I didn't know that. I didn't know you threw your stuff in my trash can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I, I've always noticed, and it seems like it's getting worse, that you don't recycle as well as you should. Well, it's not me. It's my new, uh, the new uh, owner of the house. Oh, those, those, he, those. he probably doesn't know any different. Okay, I'll, I'm. A, do you know his number? I, I should call him up and tell him when I use his trash can, he's not recycling good. Huh? Um, I don't know his number because I really never met him. Oh. Um, it, it's okay. I'll just leave a passive passive aggressive note on his door. Very fine. Yeah, himself. I'll I'll tell him to you know learn how to recycle. Stupid. That's what I'll say. I thought Very it was good. I thought it was you, but I guess not. N- no, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't live in I don't live in anymore. Oh, okay. Well, I had no idea. Well, I, I hope you like your new place. Okay. Thank you. And um, bye. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> yeah, whatever. A likely excuse. Trying to convince me that they moved so they don't seem like bad people. Let's try the last one on the list. This one is Ron. Your call and cannot be completed at Ron's. Dial. Please check the number. Must have moved two. So that's the end of the list. I've called everyone. Well, I mean, no, not everyone on the list. That is one page of the list that this guy sent to me. And there are like 30 pages to this thing. So I've got a way to go on this list. I've only gotten through one page. And I'd say, I don't know, maybe 30% of them answered. Which isn't too bad, you know, it could have been better, I guess, if I had a real phone number calling them, a real local phone number. But I guess this works too. It's a, it's a weird phone number, eight-digit phone number, and they seem to pick up okay with it. But I am going to return to this one, maybe later this week even. I'll just, uh, you know, finish off a few more pages of this list. I don't think there's any way I'm going to get through the entire list, because there's so many numbers, and eventually they're going to get warned. You know, the Homeowners Association is going to tell everyone, or the neighbors are just going to talk to each other. And say, hey, if you get a, a call from the a weird phone number like this one, and he says his name is Roy, it's it's a, it's definitely a scammer. It's trying to scam you out of your information. That's what they'll say to each other. Mr. Carter, this is uh, Officer Jones with the FBI. Oh. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's, the, it's an officer with the FBI. Okay, that makes sense. This is Mr. Jim Collin. Just calling to uh, provide you with the sound effect, because I, I understand your hang-up sound effect is is out of commission and uh, yeah. for some odd reason. Well, it was. I fixed it today. And, uh, You're too late. I'm going to provide you with one right here. Ta-da. That's oh. your new hang-up. Uh, Thanks. Back right there, straight from my mouth to your ears. Enjoy. What a nice gift. Thank you so much. That was great. But uh, unfortunately, I fixed it in this show because it was driving me crazy having to dial from a website, even though uh, technically you did it first because this voicemail was from five days ago. Hey, but, buddy. I'm you know. sorry to hear about uh, your problems with the FBI. They're always a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, thanks for trying to do your Tell show uh, with your equipment all messed up. I did want to uh, point out for you, though, that if you need to get an Asterix server up and running, pop on down to your local Radio Shack or wherever you go and pick up a Raspberry Pi. They're like... 34 bucks, mm-hmm. and you can actually run an asterisk server on a Raspberry Pi. Just Google it if you don't believe me. It's fantastic. So, Sounds like uh, witchcraft. Hope you're back up and going, and I hope the the, the, the guys down there uh, leave you alone and give you give you your equipment back. You don't deserve this. Uh, you are the light of my life. Aww. Cactus, cactus. Bye, dude. Come on, I, I deserve it a little bit, or they wouldn't be here. I've I've heard about the Raspberry Pi asterisk thing. And I guess I could look into that. I mean, does it run as well as on a PC? I'll definitely look into it. Maybe that uh, would be a good solution. Those things are, what, like 20 or 30 bucks or something? That seems like a fair price for an Asterix server. Hey, Brad, it's Justin, um, the FBI. <sighs> uh, we just wanted is, to... Is inform- this going to be like every voicemail now? Everyone's going to pretend to be with the FBI? I you that your case has been turned over to the um, to Fox and Mulder, so it's officially an X-File. And we just crap, ha- and uh, it just cut off. That wasn't me. That's his fault. Hi, R- RBC. No, here this we go. Justin. Um, hey, Justin. FBI. Want to let, let you know the, that guy, the guy impersonating an FBI agent on the show that the FBI is currently listening to. What a great idea! The case has been transferred over to uh, Scully and Mulder. But um, and that's you're gonna 
there it's now officially X File. So yep. All right. Love you, buddy. Okay, bye. He says X File like I say butt slammed. There it's now officially X File. So yep. All right. Love yeah, you, buddy. Okay, maybe not. It didn't work that well as it does when I say butt slammed. Dang, now the FBI knows Brad illegally downloaded a whole bunch of episodes of The Walking Dead. Shh, you guys, stop. Maybe they won't notice that. Damn it, guys, shut up. Oh, boy, you know you have no representatives. Uh, I'm glad to see that you're alive and well. I hope to uh, hope to hear you soon. Take care, Brad. Thanks. Hopefully I'll remain that way for just a little bit longer. Hey, Brad, what's going on? Uh, uh so... I don't really think you're raided by the FBI. No, oh, okay. I think you're really the doppelganger of Steve Bannon. And, uh, mm-hmm. I think you've been Avenger this week. What? So, if you want to let us know the truth, you know, just come out and say it. It's okay. FBI, yeah. Okay. All right, take care, Brad. Damn it. This guy's letting you all in on my joke, on my big scam, where I pretend to be raided by the FBI so you guys will send uh, money for my legal defense. Damn it, damn it, my whole story is starting to unravel. Hey, Brad, this is Dis Loops. I was just wondering if that's the first time you've ever been raided. I know you said somebody tried to um, swat you before, but, like, what, you know, give me your top three scariest or most serious experiences with uh, law enforcement. And okay. wish you the best. Bye. Top three? I don't think I have top three. I mean, I, I've had plenty of run-ins with the authorities and stuff, but I think the most serious one, it, it happened here in Oregon also. Back in 1996, uh, that's, uh, you know, back in the day when long distance was still really expensive, and I had a lot of places to call, so I stole a lot of phone calls. And that one, it wasn't the FBI, it was just the local police. But they did show up, and they took everything, like just everything, everything with a wire on it, just everything electronic, plus my two computers, and um, I don't know what else, just tons and tons of stuff. And I eventually got it back, but I think it took, I don't know, maybe six months or something. And nothing really happened after all of that, you know, like uh, I just lost all my stuff and I had to go to court a bunch or a few times, not a bunch. And I had to pay a fine and I got my stuff back. And then the other one that I can think of was when the state police showed up. Uh, they, they, I think it was two or three guys that showed up. It was a state police investigator and two computer guys. And I think they came in and cloned all of my hard drives or something like that. And that was related to a friend of mine that was hacking something, and I think he really was hacking something. And my name got brought up somehow, so they they came down and visited me. I wasn't even doing anything on that one. But holy crap, my my hard drive has been copied by authorities like three different times in my life now. And this most recent one was definitely the most serious one. Or it seems like it is anyway. I guess we'll find out eventually. Uh, Whoa. Hey. Hey. How was doing? Jag TV. Just fine before you called me. The FBI came and took my shit away. Aww. <laughs> I'm being inserinated. Hey. You're son of a fucking bitch. I'm being serenaded. Called the FBI and they came. I know you called the FBI. They're coming in to take everything and I. I need so much phone loser take me away and whoa Wow. I changed the song too much now I don't know where I'm at. Thanks, Jag Fuck. TV. Shit, you know. But uh yeah, I was saying pulverizing the cell walls in the last voice no. I just screamed it like an idiot. Yep. Alright, thanks Brad, I love you, honey baby, sweetie pie. Thanks, Jag TV. and vaginas and whatever. Hey. And hobos and glory calls. Alright, yeah. fu- fuck you, bye. Hobos. Fucker. Oh, yeah, that, that What's was, happening? The hell, that was that was a great song, Jag TV. I wish you'd record that one professionally and put it on your next album. Hello, Bradley. Hello. Just uh, calling back uh, upon your mother's uh, request. Just wanted to clear some things up. First of all, I do appreciate you playing my voicemail on the uh, on the show. That was, that was great to hear. However, don't necessarily appreciate you equating me to the uh, possibility that I may have caused the uh, fucking. FBI raid on your house. Oh, you know you did it. a little bit rude and slightly incriminating. It's all your fault. So, uh, I will be informing your mother of this. Shit. And, uh, you can consider yourself as good as grounded. Damn it. Again, thank you very much, and, uh, have a wonderful weekend. What a shitty month I'm having. Hey, Brad, this is, uh, Chris Phillips. Hey, Hey, Chris. So, listen, uh, I was listening to the Total Recall Fusion whatever show for, like, July 9th, 2015. Oh, yeah, that one. And... 
you were pranking these like old folks with their cars and stuff. Anyway, point is, I think from now on, a good idea when you uh, butt slam somebody with the gerbil, just straight have them. If they're nice about it, just straight up have them say something like, "Hey, who's uh, who's your favorite radio station that you get butt slammed by?" And have them say something like, "I just got butt slammed by 104.3 The Gerbil." Just for yeah. the hell of it. All right, I bye, should. baby. See ya. Good luck with your FBI stuff. <laughs> Thanks. That is a good idea. I can't believe I haven't done that before. I did that like, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago when I was doing those uh, payphone pranks. I remember the, the lady, I talked to her and her daughter, and I'm like, hey, who's your favorite radio station that likes to trick you and play mean, rotten jokes on you or something like that? N- not that I'm trying to take the idea from you. I'm just, just saying. But yeah, you're right. I should be doing that. Why am I not doing that? You know, the, the whole thing with uh, pretending to be with a radio station that serves two purposes. One, it lets them know it's a prank, so they won't, uh, you know, call the cops and, and do whatever else they were going to do. And two, it's to piss them off further, because they don't want to give me permission to air the thing on the radio. And it would probably piss them off even more if I insisted that they, they say, uh, you know, who's your favorite radio station? That Whatever, whatever. You're right. I need to do that. Thank you. I will do that. I promise. That's going to start happening. Hey, Brad. It's Roger. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, Roger. Uh, just calling to cheer you up. Sorry to hear about your recent legal problems. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thanks for bringing that up. I'd, all, I'd completely forgotten about it. I was in a great mood, and now you're just bringing it up again. Okay, yeah, maybe whatever. Maybe cheer you up a little bit. What kind of exercises do lazy people do? I give up. Diddly what? squats. Ah, yeah, maybe ah, diddly ah, squats because ah, they but, don't um, do anything. Sh- Hope that cheers you up. That was you, uh, Olga level here. Get out of this situation and we can get some more phone loser action. We love it. Aw. Talk to you later. Thanks, Bye. Roger, for cheering me up and stuff. Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird is the word. Bird is the word. Don't you know about the bird? Okay, yeah. Well, everybody's talking about the bird. All right. Great voicemail. Bird, bird, bird. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. Okay, thanks, uh, Gigawatt and iPokesmot. That was a great voicemail. I usually delete all of your voicemails, but I'll leave that one because you're playing the bird song, giving me a bunch of YouTube copyright strikes, probably. Oh, Ruprek, the monkey boy on the scene. Hey, Ruprek. Uh, I like how you just nonchalantly after uh, informing us of your deal with the FBI. Which was also said nonchalantly. Yeah. Well, come uh, on. What am I going to do? Freak out and just 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 start crying and stuff on a show? I did that before the show. Stated about you getting swatted. I think you said back in April. Yup. I got to give you like a round of applause uh, for holding that in. I'm used to not it. Not giving it away on a show and not really lashing out or just freaking cutting everything out altogether. Because that would have yep. been like the very next show. And it would have been what whoever did it wanted, but I'd be like, you stupid motherfucking piece of dog shit. That's that's what they want. Get the fuck off my damn, you know, podcast or whatever. Yeah, basically you would have reacted like a Roy Sipient. But anyway, Roy, big ups to you. Keep going. Don't let the haters bring you down. I'll try. uh, Snowplow's got to keep rolling. (laughs) Uh, We're we're going to make it. We're going to make it through the haters and the trolls and PLA for life. Go plow forever. Cactus cancer. Thanks, Cut this, Ruprecht. Cut this and I don't know. I'm just all I got. You're Later. the best. Hey, Roy. Miguel B. here. Hey, Miguel. I just wanted to express that uh, I heard your uh, comments on the FBI in your, in your uh, recent show, for which I'm sure you'll be punished for accordingly by your lawyer and whatever other whoever probably but i just wanted to say that uh you know in my view uh you're doing fun things you're not being malicious you're being cool yep you're being uh all that stuff following and, the rules uh, following the rules for the most part like that one guy said who left a message recently you know you actually affect lives that you don't even know you do because of what you know your good nature and you're making perhaps people understand more even about what's going on around them. Anyway, dude, I just wanted to express that. Aww, Take care. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers to you too, fake Miguel. Or I mean Miguel B. The other Miguel. Not the real Miguel. The hobo typical Miguel. Hey, what I meant by being punished oh, accordingly. Look, it's Miguel again. Miguel B again, sorry. Uh, 
that you know yeah i'm sorry i shouldn't call you not the real miguel you're you're just as real as the other miguel didn't really talk about shit going on during whatever but anyway it's cool because you know it raises awareness that uh you know the fbi look they're just out you know they have to follow their jobs shit too you know people make complaints to them and then whatever yep but uh, that's why you gotta follow the rules so people don't complain and, and they don't come to you in the first place and that's the problem uh, i didn't you, i didn't follow the rules no. Given all the problems these days, your kind of prank calls, and I've listened to a lot of prank calls, by the way, based on your, you know, what do you call it? Philosophy. What you said, you know, check out these other people you've said. And I've listened to those other people, and I don't really accept for the possible, possible emergence of XYZ because he's a young gun, uh, and... Uh, and he likes to follow rules also yep. and he's generally benevolent as he says and I guess you are too but anyway dude all I'm trying to say and I'm not trying to get this on the air on a snowplow show uh, or nothing. Too, too late but dude just maintain the course be totally cool do your stuff like you should accordingly have fun get us all off <laughs> like you're doing okay. and uh, that's going to be my new goal for all shows and I can get you all off Mind you take care Thanks again, Miguel. Hey, Roy, this is Chris from Cactus Link. We're just here to tell you that we are moving the Situation Room from Roy, New Mexico to Burnt Scrotum, New Mexico. Crap. We are sorry for the inconvenience, but you'll have to move five this, miles this up is, the road. This is bullshit. This is bullshit, you guys. I just got all my equipment moved down into this cave underneath my house. Now I gotta move again. The new place probably doesn't even have a cave. Hey, Roy, it's a freak show. Hey, you did stir up some shit with Dollar General over uh, over here. Uh, oh, oh, shit! They were the you have been the talk of the la- uh, talk of it for the last couple of weeks. The Dollar General is open nice. now, and the places you called are afraid of closing because of uh, what because of uh, them coming in. So, just wanted to say uh, it was great, and I had walked into uh, Sandy's and heard them talking about it. I had to walk up before I started laughing. And it turns out awesome. there's another Dollar General about five miles from here and the manager's name is Roy. So oh, shit. I just want to say it was, uh, say it was great and you you really uh, got this little, little town confused. So <laughs> uh, thanks for doing it. Cactus that's, Cactus. That's pretty great. I, I hope they all realize it's a joke at this point. They're not going to all, uh, you know, descend on the other Dollar General with pitchforks and nah, torches and stuff. I don't have any incredibly awesome things to say other than Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Bradley. Thanks, Hope Corbin you're doing well. guy. Uh, called to say hi. I haven't been harassing you enough. <laughs> Anywho, uh, listen to your show. Sounds like you've been up to some adventures. Yep. And uh, I guess best of wishes to you and your family and everyone else this holiday season. Alrighty, well, I'll be bugging you in the new year. Take care. I can't wait. What, not till the new year? That's like two months. Or I guess it's a month. Where are you going for a month, Corbin guy? What are you doing? Anyway, that's going to do it for the voicemails for this episode. And that's going to do it for this episode. I have 87 voicemails sitting here that haven't been played yet. So if you've left a voicemail in the past few months, it's, uh, it's my fault. You know, even before this whole FBI thing happened, I was getting really behind on shows. But I am going to get caught up this week. Uh, Maybe not with all the voicemails, but you know, I'm going to start doing shows again. Try and get back on my minimal schedule at least. So if I suck this week and I only do this one show, you guys should definitely start yelling at me as much as possible. And I'm serious because I don't really have any excuse. I think I've got all of my equipment stuff running. I almost didn't get a show done today because I had to do a bunch of equipment stuff before I got started. And then I I stopped to, uh, you know, set up the the Blink uh, SIP client or whatever. But now everything is more or less working the way it should, and I should be able to do more shows. So once again, thanks everyone for uh, being understanding of the lack of shows and everything. Thanks for your support. Thanks for uh, emailing me and saying nice things in the voicemails and everything. And thank you once again to Nicholas W. for sponsoring today's show. Everything went more or less uh, as planned on today's show. I didn't get rated, so thank you, Nicholas, for sponsoring the show. Here's a song. Bye, everyone. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt.